Having a dream job can be a reality. In this video, I'll talk about two essential things that you need to do to land your dream job. Hello, I'm Steven Goldberg of Optimist Performance, bringing you practical tips and ideas on leadership, team development, and personal performance in the workplace. Who would not want to have a dream job? But what does that mean, having a dream job? Usually it's a mix of great compensation, great people, great work culture, using the skills that you have best, developing yourself, all those types of things. And there's some reflection to do to identify what does your dream job mean to you. Once you're clear on that, when you're applying for a job, what I think is really important is to write a great cover letter that accompanies your resume, if that's what you're sending in. I'll talk about that a little bit more as well. In order to write a great cover letter, first you need to research about the company, learn about their culture, find out as much as you can about them. What are their projects? What are their goals? What are their challenges? How does the role description, the job that you're, you're applying for, coincide with their objectives, with their goals? And how can you make a difference? How can you contribute? What skills do you have? What experience? What knowledge? What passion do you bring to the role? All this needs to be reflected in the cover letter. The other thing that's really important is to use personal connections. Now, almost 50% of jobs get filled by word of mouth. So it's really about who you know. That's the way a lot of business is still conducted today. It's who you know and who you trust. Referrals, uh, people that know you, that can recommend you. So you wanna find out who is the people that are doing the hiring? Now, sometimes it's the HR department that are doing the initial screening, but it's usually a manager or a leader that's making the final decision. And they're responsible for the results in their department. They need to deliver performance. And so they want to hire the best person for the job. So by you calling that person, finding out who they are. Now, I know it's not always easy to get somebody on the phone but there's ways to do it. You could even show up at the company. That will show how much you really want the job. And again, that should be reflected in your cover letter. You should explain and show how much you really want the job. And if you take extra steps like showing up at the company, calling the person, emailing them, you could find people's email addresses, you can connect with them on LinkedIn or other social media platforms and really try and make an impression. Because if your resume is similar to others, if you have the skills, but so do other people as well, and if you have the experience, but so do other people as well too, how do you stand out? It's through a personal contact. Because there's three things that are important when companies are hiring. is looking at the skill fit, looking at the fit with the company and the team, and of course, fit for the job. So fit for the company and the team, that really comes across when you're speaking with somebody, when you're in the interview, but to land that interview, you wanna try and make that personal connection. Now, if you're an employer listening to this and you wanna figure out how to attract that type of person that's looking for their dream job, well, look at your company and say, is our company, is the way we market our job attractive to someone that's so passionate that's looking for their dream job? You may want to think of what are the elements, what are the things we need to do to be an employer of choice. So thank you for listening. Please leave a comment. Let me know if you're landing your dream job and how this works for you. Check out some of our other videos. There's one that you could watch right now that's suggested just for you. Uh, subscribe to our channel if you're not already and check out some of the ar other articles on our website. Talk again soon.